Um, we're talking to Kelly Campbell. I am based out of the Central Texas area. I'm a small animal veterinarian and my practice is in Austin, Texas. I own some acreage about 35 miles east of Austin in a little town called McDade. I got into Australian stock horses because I have played pole across for years and um, determined over a period of years that I needed to find a breed that had the intelligence the athleticism and the endurance to be able to hold up to A-level pull across play. Discovered the Australian stock horse breed and eventually in around 2005 a friend of mine said that they were going to import a stallion and asked me if I would stand the stallion. And you're here at the uh, first camp drafting event in Kiowa, Colorado. How's it been going? It has been great. It's sunny, I'm sunburned and I I am certainly it's a tremendous um, ability to be humbled by by yet another very steep learning curve, but it's fun and it's different and it's it's something to do with the horses. I I like horse sports and so I'm open to new challenges. So you had polo cross going, but that wasn't quite enough for you. So you thought you would do some camp drafting as well. Well, it, part of the motivation, to be completely honest, is once I decided to breed Australian stock horses, that breed has no name recognition in the United States. So so how do I tell someone buy my horse that I've produced? This is a really great animal. It's it's. There's no, nothing for them to compare it to. There's no studies, no charts, no statistics, no win-loss record. So the only thing that I could do was select some athletic individuals that I had produced and begin to put them out there into competition. So my horses play polo cross. My horses compete in working equitation. Wherever there's an avenue for me to take these horses and let them shine, I just hold my nose and jump. What did you like most about the, the camp drafting clinic? The clinicians are great. They're encouraging, they're supportive, they have given us a lot of information and it's a lot to remember and to process and to utilize while you're trying to learn this brand new sport. But, but the, the sport itself is fun, but the clinicians are going to make it attractive to learn because they are so very good at what they're doing. I'll enter everything that I can. It might make the horses a little bit tired, but this will be the last chance they'll have to be exposed to this until I go home. And to be frank, I'll go home with the intentions of, of putting a, a camp draft on in Texas in 2014. We're speaking with Kiki Pantez. I'm from the Austin, Texas area in a little town called McDade. And what inspired you to come to this? My friend Kelly Campbell. We saw it on the, we saw it on Facebook, and it was like, oh yeah, oh they're gonna do something, and she was like, oh well, let's go. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it looked like a lot of fun. She when she was in Australia uh, two years ago, she was at the Australian Stock Horse Nationals and sat there and watched, you know, three days of camp drafting. And so she had an idea what was going on, and we have the, she has this breed of horse, well I do too, uh, the Australian stock horse, and just trying to find different avenues to market them and get them out there and, you know, show off, you know, I mean, not show off, that's not the right word, but, you know, But to show, show what they off. can do, they say yeah. they're, oh. Uh, yeah, get out there and name recognition, you know, you got to start somewhere in the United States. That's great. <laughs> and so your Australian stock horse is here with us, and. Yeah. Well, I play a sport called polo cross, and. I had my favorite mare that was really good, and so the mother. So she's actually a first cross. The, my mare is, and so we bred the stallion that's at the farm, Waldron Starman, to my mare, and got Sandhaven's prima donna, and she's <laughs> pretty sure she's a she is a prima donna. So. And what do you call her for short? Prima. How old is she? She is. Uh, Six. I, was, I, had, I had to look at the brand. I had to look at the brand, the number brand on her shoulder. I'm like, what year was she born? She really is keeps getting put on the back burner for me. I've never sent her off for much. She had 30 days professional training to get broken, and then I've done her in bits and spurts. And um, you know, and I'm not a trainer. Did you have fun? I did have fun until her thoroughbred mother came out, <laughs> and she was she was. After that first, you know, trial run, then she was ready to go, and and I wish I'd had an open field just to, 
<laughs> go run, <laughs> but I don't know if I'd be back here yet. <laughs> the cutout, I think, is going to be difficult for her to settle when she gets excited. Mm -hmm. um, she actually, when she's working well, she's pretty quick off her hind end, but it's just the set. You know, they need to settle in there, as, as you've seen, and, right. and wait for the cow to move, and she just wants to, you know, breathe fire and snort. And So it's great fun. Um, I'm having a blast. I would, I would tell everyone to do it. I think we're going to try to do one next year in Texas, and I think we'll have a lot of people that will. Yeah. You know, like riding that Australian stock horse, Cord. Well, today was my first day with an Australian stock horse. Uh, first day for camp drafting or being an Australian saddle. And the only thing I had done before was seeing videos of it. So it was pretty interesting to finally get out there and uh, you know kind of kind of do it myself. And it it's pretty neat. You could you could tell how it could be addictive real quick. Uh, you know, I ride bulls for a living, but you can definitely feel uh, how the adrenaline can get to pumping between you and the horse and the cow real quick. And uh, you know, it could be interesting to keep everybody on the on the same page to, to make a good run. I guess I'm excited to, to do it again. Speaking with one of the uh, camp draft participants. Tony Navarre, yes sir. And, and uh, where are you from, Tony? Kerrville, Texas. Kerrville, Texas. Originally from Houston, Texas. Uh, went to college at A&M and then moved to, moved to Kerrville about 32 years ago and been there all, uh, all this time. And uh, how did you develop an interest in camp drafting? Well, uh, I was a professional jockey uh, 30 years ago. Then my girlfriend Liz Pohl runs a horse operation at Camp Baltimore and we, she, rose, she rides polo cross horses and got into that, decided I wasn't ever going to ride again, and then all of a sudden here I am riding again and following her, polo cross, big deal, and we bought uh, Australian stock horses and wanted to have a, a horse that was versatile to everything. So we're trying them out on, on this camp drafting. It uh, seems like an up-and-coming thing. It's good for your horse, has something to do. There's, there's lots of other uh, fun things in this sport that we like, the, the, the adrenaline of cutting the cow out, the getting out the gate, that, that getting that perfection and trying to turn them back real quick to the left, it's really great. And what horse do you have? I have an Australian stock horse called Blue Moon. Kelly Campbell bred this horse from a, a Australian stud called uh, Starman. And she's out of a uh, Argentine thoroughbred mare that was a 10-go polo bear uh, uh, called Leche. She was white, she was gray too. So. In fact, the blue moon comes from uh, Kelly uh, having trouble with the, his her mama breeding her and getting her f to fold, and she said it'd be a blue moon in heck before she'd have another fold, and here, <laughs> here we go. And I was lucky to be in the right place at the right time to uh, purchase this mare. And how's she holding up through the She's case? really good. For a four-year-old, this is her first uh, social function. I uh, had her on cows for 60 days at uh, Travis Braden's uh, uh, barn in uh, Crowley, Texas, and uh, she's really holding up uh, under the pressure. She was a little nervous about being around people, but after her first run and she actually completed that course, well, now she's walking up beside other horses and, you know, kind of being proud of herself. That's so, great. great. And, and are you ready for the camp draft? Today? Yes, I'm ready to go in there and just, just luck of the draw and see what I get. Well, good luck. Thanks Thank for you. talking to us, Tony, and we really right. appreciate it. John Thompson, why did you travel all the way from Bakersfield to Kiowa, Colorado to do a camp drafting clinic? Well, I've been wanting to camp draft for a long time. I've been watching it on YouTube, and of course, uh, my friend uh, David Wilson is a camp drafter. He was the first one that told me about camp drafting. And we don't have it here in the United States, so when the opportunity came up and they had let everybody know that they were doing the first ever camp draft here in Kiowa, I just knew that I had to be part of that, so I loaded up my horses and headed on out. Which horses did you take? I brought along my camp drafting mare who's done some camp drafting in Australia, a uh, horse by the name of Glen Lee Ridley Brandy. She was bred by David Wilson and then trained by a fellow by the name of Warwick Lawrence, and uh, he was a, a good camp drafter in Australia. And I brought her along because I wanted the opportunity to actually ride her in a sport that she was uh, trained for. The other horse I brought along was a horse that I bred here, and uh, a Australian stock horse by the name of Kingaroy. And he goes by Brumby's Run One Kingaroy, and uh, he's a young four-year-old, so this was his first look at camp drafting. 
What did you like most about the event? I think for me the uh, most fun was getting to meet a lot of other people that were interested in camp drafting. There, there's a sense of excitement, uh, people from different parts of the United States showing up here. Uh, that, that's an awful lot of fun. Do you think you'll do it again? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. In fact, I'm talking to Mary Harris, the, the coordinator of this event, and finding out what it's actually going to take to bring camp drafting back to Bakersfield when I get there. Uh, so I've got, already got a few things in mind. Good day for camp draft. Beautiful day for camp draft. So we're talking to Blake Hinks. Yep. The winner of the first camp draft event that was sanctioned in the United States. Yeah. You're an Australian, yeah, and you won it on an Australian stock horse. Yeah, yeah. Tell us about that run. It felt good to be the first one to actually have a run in the, in the USA, especially being an Australian, and good to have a horse that's been drafted in Australia before and transported all the way over here. Yeah. Were you excited? You were the first one out of the gate. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, very excited. Were you nervous at all? Not really, I'd, I've done enough for it not to really be that nervous over Australia, so yeah. And your cow did really well? Yeah, yep, good cow. And how was Brandy? Yeah, real good. Okay. Yep. Yeah, she's nice. Good yard mare, and some of that side and that, yeah. Great job, congratulations. Thank you.